A DeKalb High School senior is killed in a Monday night crash. Two local cities vote to ban K2. And Nipsco gas customers may soon see a drop in natural gas rates. I'm Maggie Johnson. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right. Sell them a quality vehicle and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. A crash has taken the life of a DeKalb High School senior. 18-year-old Donald Snyder of Ashley was a passenger in a car being driven by 19-year-old Dustin Gamble of Corona when the crash happened on Monday night. Police say the two cars collided at the intersections of County Road 31 and County Road 28 in Waterloo. Snyder was flown to Parkview Hospital in Fort Wayne where he later died from internal injuries and head injuries. Gamble was also flown to Parkview where he too was treated for internal injuries and injuries to his head. The driver of the other vehicle, 21-year-old Timothy Smith of Waterloo, reported pain in his hip and upper leg as a result of the crash. The Star reports that Donald Snyder was a member of DeKalb County 4-H and exhibited the Grand Champion Dairy Cow and won the title of Premier Dairy Showman during the 2009 Freefall Fair. Police investigating the crash said it didn't appear that either driver applied their brakes to the intersection. The Fort Wayne City Council voted unanimously on Tuesday night to ban the sale and use of controversial K2 substance. Anyone found selling or possessing K2 could now face a fine up to $2,500. The measure will now go before Mayor Tom Henry, who must sign off on it before it officially becomes law. The New Haven City Council met on Tuesday night and also voted unanimously in favor of a K-2 ban. New Haven Chamber Chairperson Sherry Berghoff told Indiana's News Center that she hopes the surrounding counties will step up to the plate and pass similar measures banning K-2. Berghoff says she also hopes for a ban at the state level. NIPSCO has done an about-face on its planned natural gas rate hike. The company has reached a settlement with regulators that would actually slightly lower their rates. The Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission still needs to approve the settlement. I'm Chuck Rowe with this week's Pet of the Week. Our pet this week is Juliet. Juliet is a Border Collie mix. She's about four months old, weighs 11 pounds, and is very friendly. She appears to be housebroken, and she plays very well with the other pets. If you'd like to adopt Juliet, you can contact the DeKalb Humane Shelter on US 6 in Butler. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. Email us, who'sYourHioNews at gmail.com. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a good day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state, so banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.